Sasha Dent, and the founder of Conservation Without Borders. We are on the shores of Loch Lomond about to attempt the first ever complete circumnavigation of the whole of mainland Britain. That's a 3,000 mile journey and we're doing it in an electric powered paramotor. And why here? Well, later on this year, the UK is gonna host COP26 in Glasgow. COP26 is the United Nations Climate Change Conference. It is where all the countries from around the world are gonna make big decisions on all of our future. And we're trying to rally not only awareness of how climate change is impacting us in the UK, but also try and rally mass public interest in all the solutions that we've got. We built the foundation of this challenge around green energy. I'll be flying an electric powered paramotor. As we travel around the country, we'll be camping and working out of electric vehicles and all the activity will be charged by batteries. We also have a battery station in the back of the vehicles that can charge the paramotor batteries on the fly. The climate crisis is a really serious issue to me. It's something I have decided to dedicate my whole life to. I grew up in Australia and particularly in the southeast of Australia where we have been hit regularly by bushfires, extreme bushfires, storms and you cannot help but notice that that's getting worse and worse with time and in particular last year despite the fact that we dealt with bushfires in the past we had to face a fire that was on a scale that none of us had seen before and nobody had expected and lost our home in it. But that was to a bushfire that was about 20 something kilometers long and 11 kilometers high because the bushfire had joined with the, with the storms above. Just seeing with my own eyes the effect that climate change has had on my mum and thousands of other people around the world make this an issue that I just can't ignore. We are a couple of days out from the start of the expedition. In fact, we were supposed to be leaving first thing tomorrow morning, uh, but a problem has developed with the motor. So 15 seconds into takeoff, still at full power, the motor just cut, um, lost all power. My only option was to take a rapid 180 turn back into the field, which was then downwind, uh, so a fast landing. And because there's only one, paramotor, one electric paramotor in the country, I decided to take the weight of that fall on, on me, so landed on my front, um, but I did crack a propeller in doing so. The propeller can be fixed. The real problem is that that problem has persisted, so 15 seconds, full power, the motor just cuts. This is not ideal, not ideal for me, for the whole team. A lot of people have put a lot of time and energy in, into getting us to this point, and there's a big audience of people waiting, but we've got a really good team behind it. We will find a solution. And yeah, we'll just have to keep soldiering through until we find the answer. Just driving to a field a couple of miles from base camp to try and test the paramotor. Uh, we're going to a field which is big and flat and on the shores of Loch Lomond so we have potentially the best conditions, um, lots of room to take off and then land again if I need to instantly and also a laminar wind off the, off the water. We're preparing our kit now. We've done all the ground tests. This is the first flight we're doing now, so anything can go wrong. You know, the, the engine could stop in mid-flight. You're flying over a forest and suddenly the engine stops, and that's what we don't need. It's got to go right, you know? We're taking off in the next day or so. It's got to work, this, this flight. So I'm slightly apprehensive about this uh, technology, the battery, but I think it's gonna work from what we've done on the ground. So. We're just going to take off, fly around for 40 minutes and then land. And that's our, what we're going to be doing today. The problem with this is that I'm so, I'm so scared of breaking this motor because I don't have, there is no spare, that it makes it a bit 
the stakes the stakes are a bit higher if I do do a bad landing because I mean sorry bad takeoff um, you know running with my ordinary motor taking off if something goes wrong it's really easy to get it repaired or to get replacement parts and I haven't got that same benefit with the electric motor So after all the tweaks to the engine, as I was running along thinking, oh, please, please, please work, I had managed to get a whole minute of full power. So I got to about 100 meters above the ground before the engine did cut again. But now I know that the engine will cut and I have 10 seconds then of no power. But after that, I can go back onto power, not full, but pretty high enough to maintain altitude and then climb out. So basically I can fly the motor works, it can do the expedition, I can take off pretty much anywhere and we can set off tomorrow.